If you have a private health insurance plan, for example, Blue Cross, Aetna, Cigna, Tufts, etc., your car accident-related medical expenses will be covered by your car insurance policy up to the first $2,000 in reasonable and necessary medical expenses. If you have private health insurance, medical bills over and above the first $2,000 will be submitted to, and presumably paid by, your private health insurance plan. If you do not have private health insurance, your medical bills will be paid by your car insurance company up to a maximum of $8,000 in reasonable and necessary medical expenses. It's important to note that if you have a private health plan and they pay for medical expenses related to your car accident, they will have what is known as a right of subrogation, a lien, against the amount that they paid. This right of subrogation arises out of a contract you have with your private health insurer. Most people are unaware that just by paying premiums for and receiving private health benefits that they agree to provide their health insurance company with the legal right to repayment or subrogation should you recover from the at-fault party's insurance company. Now, if you do not ultimately recover money from the at-fault party, you don't have to repay your health insurance company. When your case ultimately settles or you receive an award after a jury trial, there will be a deduction from the settlement or award for the amount of your private health insurance company's lien. But it's important to note that the amount you owe on the lien should have been included by your lawyer when valuing and negotiating a claim so that it takes into account your obligation of repayment. Now, if you do not have private health insurance and you have medical expenses that exceed the $8,000 that you obtained or could have obtained from your PIP insurance benefits, you most likely will have an outstanding balance to the medical providers for the amount over and above the $8,000. Just like you had an obligation to pay your private health insurance company back under the right of subrogation, you also have an obligation to pay the medical providers who provided you treatment but have not yet been paid. The balances owed them may also come out of your settlement or award if in fact you receive one. Most experienced injury attorneys will negotiate the balances owed medical providers and attempt to get the balances reduced so that you may net more of the settlement proceeds for yourself.